Today's video is about the Outlook extension from Autodesk. This is a nice feature or tool that Autodesk provides for you to work uh, with Autodesk basically right away from your Outlook uh, system. A lot of days we're still working with email, so Outlook is almost the place to go. Having a, a nice extension tool in there is, is great. I'm going to show you a little bit where to get it and how to get this one up and running. It's not enabled for this particular database, so I'm going to walk you through on what we have set up so far. We go to admin, extensions and integrations, and there's the Microsoft extensions. Today I'm covering the MS Outlook and MS Outlook transfer log. Here's the Microsoft Outlook, and there's only a system setting. And right now it's restricted contact integration by account manager and opportunity owner. I would suggest to at least put this one on, otherwise you have the full contact database available. Now, if you have a small company, you might just have this one unchecked, but if you have multiple account managers and a lot of people, uh, you just sometimes don't want them to uh, upload all the contacts into their Outlook. And again, from once you have all the contacts over there, you have the ability to send out an email. If something goes wrong, then you basically are being triggered as spam and you might even be getting uh, uh, blacklisted. So definitely you want to have that. So recommended setting to enable this checkbox. Um, yeah, that's what I thought of it because most likely it's not enabled for this particular database. We go back. Um, another section is on the, that was the basic section. And again, this is only for the admin available. So not every user has this, this available. Uh, to check on what's been happening, there's also a Microsoft Outlook transfer log. That way you can see what's going on. Like I said, there's nothing for this database configured. Uh, it's not been set up, so there's nothing here. But once you have this enabled for your organization as an administrator, uh, that's when you can see what's going on. Now, how do you actually download that installer? Go to Features and Settings, Application-wide Shared Features, and then you go to Downloads. And on the bottom, there's the Microsoft Outlook extension. And here again, this is what I kind of mentioned, the license. Uh, it's required license. You need to contact Autodesk Desk Sales. Uh, they need to enable this one for your database. Uh, but you can always try it because the download button over here is already there. And you can download that Autodesk extension. What it will do, again, you need to be an admin on your system to install the, the plugin. You need to provide credentials. Uh, make sure that within the troubleshooting that the, the add-on has been uh, allowed. Restart Outlook, maybe uh, install some .NET updates and those kind of things, but you guys are in IT, so uh, I know what you're doing over there. And once that up Outlook extension is up and running, then you will be getting a sort of a, uh, we call it an extra ribbon inside of Autodesk or inside of Outlook, or specifically for Autodesk. And I hope this picture is a little bit clear. And this gives you a whole bunch of options. Of course, the home button, uh, right away from Outlook, you can go to the home uh, side of, uh, of Autodesk options and about, but the most important ones is the ticket. If you get an email from a, a client or, or a company, right away you can click on the, you have that email open, you use the ribbon, you say ticket, and it can create right away a ticket. It will remember that because of the email address coming from a particular person that's linked to your company, that's how Autodesk will know how to create a, a, a ticket from there. Same thing too with the company note and the contact note, you can easily copy and paste that way uh, the, the, the email into a company. It will create a dialog box and to ask if it doesn't recognize the email address to say, okay, on which company, on which opportunity, on which contact, where do we need to place it? Under the more section, there's also sometimes where there's a pull down menu, so click on that one too. Depending on where you are in Outlook, that more button uh, provides you more and uh, more information and that's where you can have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, there's also an Autotest group where you can uh, uh, click on options. You can also configure the Outlook calendar and the contact integration. Uh, so in this setting, you also have the option to enable if you want to import all the contacts. So not only by the first setting that we set, but also in here you have that, uh, that access right. Um, there's a whole add to Autotest. So there's a, a ticket, the company node, a contact node, uh, but you can also create appointments from there. That's under the more section. Creating a regular appointment to do, creating a, a contact, you can create a ticket time, a ticket note, a service call, project time, project night, and task note. So that's all available. Um, even with the Outlook extension with the two-factor annotation can be uh, set up. So don't worry about, uh, about security. Just remember that if you run Outlook offline, then also the connector is offline because then there's no integration and there's no authentication possible. So it will only work when you're uh, online. This integration will work and it will indeed work with a two-factor authentication. 
Uh, make sure to install this uh, this plugin. It's a very nice handy feature. Uh, play with it, and it's very uh, like I said, it's a good handy feature. Uh, if it doesn't want to work, make sure that you have the license available here. It already says contact Autodesk sales, so make sure you verify that too. And I would say uh, happy uh, happy installing of this plugin and uh, use it and see how you like it. And I think it's a, it's a great extra tool. And if you have any questions, comments, of course, visit our uh, Facebook group and you can post a comment there. Thank you.